Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil 3D Pro Designer. We have exercise number 4 for chapter number 9. How to assign targets for assembly in AutoCAD Civil 3D. If you are new on my YouTube channel, please subscribe Civil 3D Pro Designer and press the bell icon to get latest notification about videos and you can also access me through my facebook page civil 3d pro designer where you can get many more materials about civil 3d and land surveying let's start our exercise number four Open your civil 3D and uh, I have already opened my drawing. We will exercise, we will start this exercise very quickly. We use the target mapping dialog box to assign target within a corridor. This dialog box lists the three types of target surface width or surface targets and slope or elevation targets along with sub assemblies within your corridor that are able to use each type of uh, targets target don't have to be used whenever they are available in fact for many corridors the majority of the targets are set to none which you will see later in this exercise to assign a target you click the cell in the object name column that correspond the assembly sub assembly you would like to set up this display a dialog box where you can select objects in the drawing graphically or by name so in this exercise number four we will assign targets to the corridor to provide daylight and uh, a turn lane for jordan court okay please take your notebook and write down all the steps to practice this exercise later on your and step number one we have uh, opened the trying applying corridor targets i have already opened if you have not please go down in the description link and you will get the link to download practice drawing for exercise number four step number two click the corridor in the drawing when you will go on the Jordan code, you will see a corridor. You click and the contextual tab show some command for your corridor. Now click edit targets on the ribbon. Here you can see edit targets. Step number three, when prompt to select a region. Now you need to click inside the left viewport we are already in the left viewport anywhere you can click within the corridor okay once you will click inside the corridor the target mapping dialog box will open to you step number four in the target mapping dialog box under width or offset here targets click none in the object name column next to the left lane assembly here we have 
left lane subassembly and we need to click on none it will open set with or offset target dialog box step number five in the set with or offset target dialog box under select object drive to target select feature line survey figures and polyline okay step number six click select from the drawing it will go in your drawing then in the left viewport which we are working already zoom into the beginning of your jordan court alignment jordan court road you will see a red line click the red line step number seven click your red line which we have already clicked and the desired part of the left which is the land edge and then press enter okay step number eight click ok and return to the drawing it will process your drawing and now the corridor is widening near the entrance here by widening the left lane this way you make extra room for a turning lane step number nine click within the corridor to reopen the target mapping dialog box step number 10 in the target mapping dialog box click the cell next to surfaces that read click here to all okay now step number 11 select e g which is already none but now we need to select e g which is our existing ground and we want to target our existing ground then click ok again click ok to dismiss the toy targeting mapping dialog box pan around the lower lower right viewport to see the 3d representation of your corridor now it's targeting your existing surface and it's now your 3d corridor step number 11 save your drawing and close you can see we have 3d corridor now hope you like this video if you are new please subscribe and press the bell icon to get latest notification about videos